Hi, my name is Allison Small, and today I'll be doing a video based upon the professional dispositions of learners. First, I had to do a self-assessment survey, and on that survey, there were statements, and I had to say if I strongly agree, agree, or strongly disagree. So I answered those statements, and now I will answer questions based upon those dispositions that were given to me in the self-assessment survey. On to question one. I feel as though in order to be a successful teacher, you need to be kind and sensitive to the needs of your students. You should be warm to them and friendly. They should feel as though they can come to you and feel comfortable enough to talk to you about anything that's going on in their school life or in their home life. You should also be a person of integrity. As a teacher, we should be modeling what we want our students to do. I go by a good rule of thumb that I wouldn't do anything that I wouldn't want to see my students doing. So that means think about what you do in public because what you do in public can affect you in your school life. So it's important to be very vigilant and aware of your actions throughout every day. So this year is my first year teaching and there are some things I would like to work on to make next year better. So I will take this question from the standpoint, what do I need to work on in order to make my next year of teaching a better experience? I feel as though reflection is key. And this year, I know personally that I have not taken time to reflect upon my teaching strategies, my classroom management. I have not taken enough time to reflect. So that's what I want to work on next year. I want to be able to use different strategies in my classroom. And if I find that, th that they don't work for me, that I need to go back to the drawing board and try something else that will work for my class. Because each year you have a different group of students. You have a different group of learning styles and all of that. So I want to take time to reflect more and see what I can do to help my classroom be better. I feel as though understanding people is key to developing good relationships. All students and families come from different social backgrounds and different cultures. So it is important to get to know the individual child and individual family. It's important to be warm and friendly and make them feel welcome. When people feel welcome, they feel more comfortable talking to you and developing a relationship with you because they know that you care and that you are kind hearted and that you just want to see them be successful in the classroom. I feel as though this question goes back to reflection as well. It's important when you get the data that you get, such as your evaluations, observations, student scores, testing scores, all of that. It is important to look at that data very objectively and reflect upon it. Look at what can you do to be better? What can you do to improve? Because at the end of the day, if you're not reflecting you're not growing in your practice. And when you're not growing, you're staying stagnant. You're being with, okay with being basic. You're okay with not improving. And that's just not okay because in the profession of teaching, it's important to grow, try new things, and be the best you can each year. I hope you have enjoyed my thoughts and opinions of these dispositions. I hope that you enjoy watching and thank you.